Good evening. We break with uh, late news just coming out of the courthouse downtown. Deputies have arrested a man, they say, threatened to kill East Baton Rouge Parish District Attorney Hiller Moore. It's tied to the ongoing murder trial of local rapper Lil Boosie. Deputies say a man used his Twitter account to send a message this weekend that said, quote, I got a sniper rifle for Hiller Moore when he walked out of the courthouse, end quote. Deputies say they located the Twitter account, got a photo of the suspect, and found him sitting in the courtroom where the rapper's trial is going on. They charged 21-year-old Derek DeAndre Green with public intimidation and terrorizing. Security's already been tightened at the courthouse during this trial because of a previous threat against the DA, Hiller Moore. Also, in the Lil Boosie saga, accused trigger man Marlo Mike Louding took the witness stand today. Both sides spent the day grilling Louding about a series of police interrogations recorded in the days following the 2009 shooting of Terry Boyd. WAP's Tiana Williams has tonight's continuing coverage. Well, Donna, they, they did show the interrogation tape during court today. In fact, there are two tapes. One was where uh, Michael Loudon says that there are three people that went to Terry Boyd's house and did the shooting. In the second tape, he then implicates himself, saying that he, in fact, shot Terry Boyd. But then, during questioning repeatedly over and over from prosecutors, he then changed his story and said he did not kill Terry Boyd, and he says Mr. Hatch, Torrance Hatch, did not pay him to do so. In fact, what he told the courtroom during some of those tapes, he says he says he was told that the, by the DA and police that, that they wanted Torrance Hatch in this case, and he says this is uh, what they told him. He says uh, told him that Torrance Hatch was the man he wanted. He feared that Torrance would come after him for his own death as well. He, and he clearly said, I had him in there for nearly 11 hours, and uh, Ms. Cummings said, no, no, it was just 10. Still a long time for somebody to be sitting there not being able to use the restroom. And then he says, let's get it straight. You know, let's get it straight. You've come a long way, dog. So clearly there was some coercion. And to that, the fact that he tells them that witnesses put you there. Nobody's going to believe you. And he said in court today that he lied about all that. He is lying to coerce this 16, 17-year-old kid into confessing a sex homicide. Now that's down there from defense attorney Jason Williams in, in the facts that came out during the day's testimony that prior to us seeing that tape today where uh, Mr. Ha uh, excuse me, Louding did confess to the killings, there are eight hours of interrogation where the record button was not pressed. There simply is no record of what happened in that eight hours, so Mr. Williams are responding to that. They were also told that there was no physical evidence that placed him there but that Louding was told that by the detective who was questioning him. So a lot of questions going back and forth, and Louding simply says he didn't do it, that being the state's star witness. So we'll see what happens in the case from here. All right. Thank you, Tyana Williams.